2 Corinthians 13 verse 14 The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The divine revelation of the Trinity of the Godhead and the Holy Word, from Genesis through Revelation, is for the apprehending of how God in his mysterious and marvelous Trinity dispenses himself into his chosen people, that we as his chosen and redeemed people may, as indicated in the Apostles' blessing to the Corinthian believers, participate in, experience, enjoy, and possess the process triune God now and for eternity. Amen. The triune God is working himself into his chosen and redeemed people to be their life and life supply, to saturate their entire being with the divine trinity. That is, with the Father as the fountain, the Son as the fatness, and the Spirit as the river. This is the vision that should govern and direct how you interpret any portion of the Bible. Without such a vision you may present a good message based on Psalm 36 verse 8 and 9, yet it will be so shallow touching nothing of the divine trinity. Even if you were to go to Strong's exhaustive concordance of the Bible and discover that the fatness refers to the fatty ashes of the sacrifices, without such a vision you would never think that this refers to Christ. You must have the governing principle. Then when you see the word sacrifices, you would be so clear that this refers to the second of the divine trinity. Christ. Then it would also be easy for you to understand the river of God's pleasures. Romans 14 verse 17 refers back to this river when it tells us that the kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The joy in the Holy Spirit is the river of pleasures, or we could say the river of pleasures is the spirit of joy. We must realize that the Bible was written under this governing principle. This principle helps us to interpret the fountain of life and in your light we see light. This principle helps us to see in John that life is in him, and that this life is the light of men. God is life, and God is light. Therefore, he himself is the fountain of both life and light. The entire Bible was written according to the principle of the triune God wrought into his redeemed people as their enjoyment, their drink, and their fountain of life and light. The application of this principle in interpreting any portion of the New Testament is endless. Then our message, using any portion, will be greatly enriched. It will be full of the fatness, full of the flowing of the river of pleasures, and full of the fountain of life and of light. Praise the Lord!